Hi everyone. So I'll be going over my course project. For my sustainability initiative, I chose to create a guide to establishing green initiatives on college campuses. Now in this day and age, when it comes to green marketing, establishing green initiatives on campus is lucrative, enticing, and has the three E's, economy, equity, and environment. So let's get started. So there are a lot of levels to implementing green initiatives on a college campus. There's significant benefit to the university, the students, and the environment. By reducing emissions and carbon footprint while increasing sustainability research and education, it ensures a return on investment and enhances campus community visibility. So for goal number one, implementing green initiatives that are cost effective and actively engage the campus community. There's a couple of examples of this. So most buildings are already built on college campuses. So this is an example of campuses where they cannot expand anymore. They have their buildings already built. So they'll have to retrofit, which can cost from anywhere from two to seven dollars per square foot, depending on the age, the existing design, the purpose of the building. So your variation of return on your investment ranges between two to 15 years, but the Energy Efficiency Indicator Survey conducted by Johnson Controls found that 50% of commercial building owners have an internal return greater than 30%. So the savings of utilities would be 50 cents per square foot if the energy use was reduced by 20%. Um, in other examples, you have food waste, right? on college campuses, um, there's something called lean path technology that enables universities to weigh and track food waste to measure a baseline of what they consider normal waste. So for example, over a period of one and a half years, if a campus dining serves 11,000 meals per day, this technology can reduce food waste by 53%. So that equates to 349,000 pounds of food that they divert from landfill and they save an estimated $365,000. Only one and a half years, it's amazing. And lastly, a big one everyone thinks about, they think about recycling. So in most states, recycling is mandatory by law. However, for the university, a single stream system is best. So the Green Campus Committee will be responsible for implementing educational materials that students understand which materials are recyclable and which are not. So that leads us to, into goal number two, to decrease the university's in my environmental impact or eliminate it entirely. And those were some examples of how that can be implemented and how, what that effect is. And then three, a big goal is to participate in STARS, which is our sustainability tracking and assessment and rating system. So Joining STARS enables the university to measure their success. So STARS is intended to engage and recognize the full spectrum of higher education institutions, from community colleges to research universities. It encompasses long-term sustainability goals for already high achieving institutions, as well as entry points of recognition for institutions that are taking first steps towards sustainability. So before we even implement any of our initiatives, we have to do a scan. And in this case, an external and internal scan. So for our internal scan, we need to look at what students on campus desire green initiative. What number of faculty are willing to be part of the Green Campus Committee? What are the financial costs associated with implementing those sustainability initiatives? How will those sustainability initiatives align with the university's mission? And how can we evaluate a student's body of uh, knowledge of their sustainability? That's internal. External, we look in our surroundings. We look at nearby university sustainability initiatives. We look at the number of universities who have pledged carbon neutrality. Um, we look at the percentage of high school students who incorporate green campuses as part of their decision for picking a new university. We have to assess, we have STARS, our Sustainable Tracking and Assessment and Rating System to consider. We have the UN's 17 Sustainable Development Goals to keep in mind as, a, as its own measure of goals we can implement ourselves as a university. What new technologies are being used for sustainability and how do trends in sustainability infrastructure give tax benefits to universities? Now we look at all of those things and we conduct a SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So we look at our strengths, how 
sustainability draws new prospective students. We want new prospective students to come to university. We want that tuition money coming in in order to fund these initiatives. Um, we know that they're economically viable because it saves us money. It saves us money in energy. It saves us money in combating food waste. And also it is a strength because we know we are contributing to the environment by lowering the carbon footprint and lowering the amount of pollution of, as a university. There are a couple weaknesses. Um, in order to pay, a lot of most universities have implemented a small green fee in tuition, which may or may not be a contingency amongst students who are already paying quite a bit and hefty tuition fees. And in addition, once the program is implemented, it needs to be maintained by management. However, we have some opportunities. We have opportunities to save money. And our threats are competing universities who already have green initiatives and we are competing with them for student enrollment. So what are the benefits? Well, I talked a little bit about the benefits, but here I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail. So higher enrollment of students who value environmentalism, those students who are really choosing a school based on sustainability initiatives, do they offer uh, green initiatives on campus like recycling, food, uh, food waste reduction, composting programs, water recycling programs, things like that. They really look at that. We have financial gain by investing in green policies. Green marketing is really picking up this day and age. Investors are really looking into this market that they know was booming. As a university, by investing in these green policies, we are setting ourselves up for success. And lastly, energy cost savings through those renewable energy and water recycling programs. So overall in detail, now that we have got a little bit of background, the steps of implementing this initiative. So there are two bodies that start this off. It is the campus office and the participating campus. The campus office is in charge of developing that green initiative. They specifically choose for their campus what type of initiatives they want to implement. Are they close to a coast? Can they implement beach cleanups? Can they um, afford to build new LEED certified buildings or do they need to retrofit? All of this is discussed within the scope of campus activities and things to be pursued by the green campus formed by students, faculty, and staff on campus, a congregation of various and diverse voices on campus. While that is happening, the participating campus ex is expressing the interest in joining that gr those green initiatives. So we have step one, we formed campus committee. Step two, we the whole campus registers to the green initiative. They all commit. Step two, we talked about our environmental scans of external and internal factors. And then we have our action plan. How are we going to implement those plans? Step four, how we're going to monitor, monitor and evaluate those plans once they're implemented. And lastly, importantly, step five, education. We have to inform and involve not only the campus, but the wider community surrounding the campus. That is the most important as well. We need to make sure that the camp, as long as our students are informed, we're in the clear. During every step of the, the way, there is guidance and support. There's different workshops training. Social media for the university is putting out educational material and advertising material on what type of green initiatives are going to be put on campus and how can they benefit students and how can it benefit the environment and how can it save everybody money. Um, same with the website, same information. Um, the school is um, being part of conferences to, for green initiatives and linking to other green initiative programs. Lastly, after all of that, we apply for STARS. We apply for that sustainability tracking and assessment and rating system. In order to do that, we have to assemble an expert panel for assessment, go over the registration documentation, compile feedback from the assessment panel, and then we find out, is the membership awarded? No, then we do it all over again. If we do, great. We maintain that green initiative and we renew and apply and reassess as we go. So in conclusion, implementing green initiatives on college campuses is long-term economically viable. Everybody benefits from a cleaner environment. 
And this establishes a new generation of environmentalists through the students who are actively going through those green initiatives that the university is implementing. So these are my work cited. Thank you for listening. Um, this was wonderful. Um, everyone have the great rest of your day.